Welcome to Project Start Science Online. Today's discussion is going to be how does fire work? So we have a picture over here of me with fire in my hand. Now how exactly did this fire get here? So I started off with bubbles of methane. And these methane, this methane gas, which was in soapy bubbles, was exposed to a little bit of heat from an already lit candle. Suddenly it burst into flame. What's happening over here? Well, what's happening is that there's a chemical reaction going on. So methane is carbon and hydrogen. There's four hydrogens and a single carbon. So those elements come together forming CH4. So CH4, methane, is reacting with oxygen and it's producing fire. But it also produces carbon dioxide and waters. Now, this is something called an exothermic reaction. Exothermic means that it releases heat. So when these molecules are reacting with each other, not only does it produce these products, carbon dioxide, carbon single carbon, and two oxygens dioxide, and water, but it also produces a lot of heat. So how does fire work when I first start it, before I can light a candle to my methane? Well, let's take the example of a matchbox. So over here I have a match, and I have a matchbox, and I'm striking the match by rubbing it quickly across the top of the matchbox. That causes friction, and friction produces heat. You can find this out for yourself by taking your hand and rubbing your thumb to your fingers, or try rubbing your two hands together, and you'll see that it produces heat. That heat is enough to allow the molecules that are in the head of the match, right over here, to react with oxygen, and because it has this little bit of heat needed to react, once it gets hot enough because of the flame, then the flame spreads to the wood. Now if I then take that old flame which I caused from the match, and I light the wick, so then I have the fire on the wick because, again, what's happening over here is that the molecules of the wick are reacting with oxygen just like we had over here, that the molecules are reacting with oxygen to produce not only the products, but because it's exothermic to produce heat. Now the question is, how does it keep burning? I can understand a really quick puff of fire because I have enough heat that I can cause the molecules in the head to react with oxygen and so that can cause fire because there's so much heat that the products of the um, head of the match are going to continually react with the oxygen and as it reacts then it produces the light and the heat so that produces the flame but how does it keep on burning well once I burn the candle once I put it onto the candle a wick wicks up the wax of the candle so it draws it up, and once the wax of the candle reaches the flame, then the same thing happens as we already discussed. So all the difference is between wax and the methane, which I had when I put my the methane bubbles in my hand to light it on fire, is that there's a lot more carbon and hydrogen in the wax. So that's why it's in a solid form. But once it reaches the fire, then it's hot enough that it turns into gas form. And so then it's very similar to what we showed over here, because now that the wax is in gas, these are carbon-hydrogen or uh, carbon-hydrogen carbon alkanes, so chains of carbon and hydrogen, which are now in gas form. So again, they react with oxygen. Oxygen is in, the, um, is in O2 form in the air. That's what we're breathing in. So there are two oxygens together. Those react with the carbon and hydrogen, and it produces energy. Now this energy, the rearrangement of the molecules, is a term called oxidation. The term is not nearly as important as the concept. The concept is that these molecules of carbon and hydrogen, the alkanes, which the elements carbon and hydrogen which form the alkanes, these molecules, and that is reacting with the oxygen, that is producing energy. So you have heat, you have light, and the heat and light is what makes up that flame. And you also have soot which can be formed, let's say you take a tube and you put it over your flame, you get this soot. What is that soot? That's all of the unburnt fuel. All of the stuff, all of the carbon, which came up into this gas phase and wasn't able to react, so that just 
can precipitate out or that can just turn into this black stuff over here. So do we finally understand where a flame comes from? I think we do. There's vaporized molecules reacting with oxygen that produces the heat and light. What's the smoke on top? Those are the products, the carbon dioxide and the water, which we have in every case, plus all of the stuff that didn't react fully with the fire, the soot, 